Good morning, students. So today we will do our fifth experiment is to find out one aspect and one basic radical of an unknown given solid. So let's start. So for this experiment, we need few materials like test tube, test tube stand, test tube holder. We need platinum wire, charcoal cavity, tong, unknown salt, and dilute HCl. Let's start the experiment with the preliminary test. So, with the preliminary test, our first test to examine is to see the salt carefully. the color. So the color is white and then we will smell whether it has some odor or not. As it is odorless as well as the color is white. So we will write in the observation and the inference could be it could be calcium, magnesium, aluminium. Next we will do dry heating test. So for that we will watch wash the test tube and we will dry it. Just move your test tube slightly and all the waters will be dry. So now it is totally dry. Now we will put a small amount of salt in this with the help of spatula. And we will heat it. Next, we will take the charcoal cavity. And in this charcoal cavity, we will put a small amount of salt. And with the help of a blower, blower we will blow and we will see the color of the salt is changing or not. So as you can see that the salt is solidified here and there is no change in color. Thank 
wall that is carbon dioxide effervescence evolved with fumes this is our observation let us do the second experiment in this we will take a clean glass tube and we will put a small amount of salt and in this salt we will take a little amount of water tap water let it get soluble and then we will add Now this will form PPT precipitation after some time as it will be in rest so it will form precipitation you can see a thick a thick solution and you can still see that the precipitate is settling down at the bottom of the test tube This is the conformation of chlorine. So our acidic radical is chlorine. Now we will do test for basic radical. So for basic radical, our first experiment is we will take a pinch of salt. In a dry test tube and we will add, I am taking dilute NaOH solution. So I'll add few drops of dilute NaOH solution. You can see the effervescence are coming out in the form of small bubbles. This is an indication of ammonium. I'll take another clean test tube and I'll put some salt, a little water so that the salt will be soluble. Now a salt solution is prepared and now I'll put few drops of Nestler reagent. I am taking Nestler reagent here. So I will put few drops of Nestler reagent. 
So see, as I have put only one drop of Nesquik reagent, the color has changed, totally changed into brown color, and you can see the small particles are settling down at the bottom as a form of precipitate, and this is the conformation of ammonia. Thus, in this experiment, in the acid radical, we have proved that chlorine is present. and in the basic radical we have proved that ammonium is present so the given salt was ammonium chloride thank you